Hello friends, it's Susan Brock and I have two butterfly, uh, well one's a rhyme and one's a song to share with you today um, and the rhyme I'm going to show you three different ways that you can do it. One just with your body, one with a piece of silk and the third one, I'm going to use my little sweet dolly that my mama made. And she's going to be my child. And I'm going to show you how to do a burrito roll. And um, you can use this rhyme. There's lots of other ways to do it. And I'll share some other ways um, in another video. But um, the burrito roll is just a really nice thing. I used to do it in my classroom especially with my little two and three year old, if they would just get too, oh, too overexcited, I would take them and they would roll them up, as I will show you in a minute. And the pressure, the pressure, it's like a heavy blanket if you've had any uh, experience with those, just the, the pressure on the body is, can be very soothing. But enough, enough talking, let's begin. A caterpillar climbed to the top of a tree. I think I'll take a nap, said he. So under a leaf he began to creep and he spun a cocoon and he fell asleep. All winter he slept in his cocoon bed until spring came along one day and said, wake up. Wake up, little sleepyhead. Wake up. It's time to get out of bed. So he opened his eyes on that sunshiny day. And lo, he was a butterfly and flew away. Well, and you can see how nicely this will work with a silk. A caterpillar climbed to the top of a tree. I think I'll take a nap, said he. So under a leaf, he began to creep and he spun a cocoon and he fell asleep. All winter he slept in his cocoon bed until spring came along one day and said, wake up, wake up little sleepy head. Wake up, it's time to get out of bed. So he opened his eyes on that sunshiny day. And lo, he was a butterfly and flew away. So that's, the, the, that's two ways. And now here comes my little sweetie. And I'm going to turn my camera down. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you first and then I'll do it with a rhyme. I'm going to, if I was doing this with a child instead of a doll, I would use either a cotton cloth. I always used cotton play cloths in my classroom, but you can also use a blanket. And you let the child lay down and you want to make sure, oh, do I slide her over a little? You want to make sure that, um, that her neck and her head are not going to be wrapped in the blanket and you want to keep her arms your child's arms tight to their side um, you want to do this nice and firmly so I always start so I lay them on the blanket so they're not right on the edge but a little bit over and then fold it over onto them and keep those arms together and then just roll 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 nice and firm you know not overly tight of course but nice and firm and um, I usually like to, um, the children like to be on their backs. Now, most children really love this. If they didn't and they wiggled out, I did not stop them. So um, let's, just, let's just do it with the rhyme. Here's my little caterpillar. Come here, little caterpillar. Come here. It's time for you to turn into a butterfly. Caterpillar climbed to the top of a tree. I think I'll take a nap.
says he. So under a leaf, he began to creep and he spun a cocoon and he fell asleep. All winter he slept in his cocoon bed until spring came along one day and said, Wake up, wake up, little sleepy head. Wake up, it's time to get out of bed. And then I wouldn't necessarily have my little one turn into a, into a butterfly just yet if she was comfortable and liked, you know, and it felt good. My little butterfly would take a little bit longer of a nap. No, no. No, no, Spring, I'm still sleeping. All right, sleep a little longer, my little one. And it's nice to add some pressure, kind of a little massage. You know, you, you know you'll know what your child likes or you'll figure it out. Um, then, you know, they certainly will let you know. But, but um, yeah, my children liked it. When I did it in my class, pretty much everyone would want a turn being wrapped up um, and then when they're ready, you just unwrap them and their little butterflies can fly away. Did you like that? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. So I am going to now move my camera up because I'm going to stand up. So this was, this was, oh, hello. This was always the song that I would do after um, I did my little butterfly rhyme and we had and we would usually do it with a silk and she opened her eyes one sunshiny day that sunshiny day and lo she was a butterfly and flew away and here we go up 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 yay <laughs> And then this, this is just pretty simple. You just fly around with your wings. Come bright butterfly, close to me. Your beautiful wings I should like to see. You fly like a bird. You sit like a bee. But you're really a fly. love that song and as you may notice if you watched other of my videos I love waving around silks so that's all for today thank you so much for stopping by I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again soon bye bye